Are you tired of dealing with tantrums and bedtime battles? In this video, we're sharing 5 parenting tips that will change the way you handle these everyday challenges. From a clever trick to cool off tantrums to a genius way to turn sibling rivalry into teamwork, these tips are a game changer for parents everywhere. Get ready to say goodbye to meltdowns and hello to peaceful evenings. Parenting hacks that actually work, from cooling off meltdowns to outsmarting tantrums. Hello, fellow parents. Ever find yourself in the middle of a toddler meltdown, wondering if you're the only one struggling to keep your cool? Or maybe you're faced with a crying child whose words are drowned out by tears, leaving you feeling helpless. Well, fear not. In this guide, we're diving into some seriously effective and surprisingly simple parenting tips that will make your life a whole lot easier. From a clever trick to cool off those terrible twos tantrums, even in the dead of winter, to a genius way to get your kids to work together instead of against each other, we've got you covered. So, if you're ready to take control of those tricky parenting moments and turn them into wins, Buckle up and let's dive in. Tip number one. All right, so picture this. You've got a little one who's knee deep in the terrible twos. You know, that stage where every little thing seems to set off a meltdown of epic proportions. Yeah, been there, done that. But here's the kicker. One day, in the midst of yet another floor pounding, ear splitting episode, I had a stroke of genius or madness, depending on how you look at it. I scooped up my tantrum throwing tyke and marched right out into the freezing cold morning air. Yep, you heard me, outside. In January, near Minneapolis. Now, before you start thinking I've completely lost my marbles, hear me out. I told him, hey buddy, you're getting too hot inside. Let's cool off out here. Yeah. I know, it was a total bluff. But you know what? It worked. He calmed down, we snuggled for warmth, and after a few minutes, we headed back inside, tantrum free. But here's where the real magic happened. The next day, when I saw him gearing up for another meltdown, I asked, hey, need to cool off outside again. And guess what? He stopped dead in his tracks. It was like a light bulb went off in his little head. From then on, whenever I saw the tantrum brewing, I'd just ask him if he needed to cool off outside, and bam. No more meltdowns. Now, I'm not saying this will work for every kid, but man, was I relieved when it did. So next time you're knee deep in tantrum town, maybe give the great outdoors a try. Who knows? It might just save your sanity. Tip number two. All right, let's talk about those moments when your kid is crying up a storm and you're just at your wits end trying to figure out what to do. We've all been there, right? You want him to stop crying so you can actually understand what's going on. But the more you try to stop them, the louder they cry. It's like a never-ending loop of tears and frustration. But here's a little trick that might just save the day. Instead of getting all worked up and yelling, try calmly telling him, I can't understand you when you cry and talk at the same time. I'd really like to, but I just can't. It sounds simple, I know, but you'd be surprised at how effective it can be. See, kids are smart. They want to be understood. But sometimes they just need a little reminder to calm down and communicate clearly. So, the next time your little one is in tears, give this trick a try. Stay calm, stay patient, and remember, you've got this. Tip number three. Okay, let's talk bedtime battles. You know the ones, where you're practically dragging your kids to bed, and they're doing everything in their power to stay up just a little bit longer. It's like a nightly showdown, and it's exhausting. But what if I told you there's a simple trick that could make bedtime a whole lot easier? It's all about using light to your advantage. 
Here's how it works. Start by turning off all the lights in the house, except for one. Maybe the bathroom light. Kids are like moths, right? They're drawn to the light. So, when they see that one remaining light, they'll naturally head towards it. Once they're in the bathroom, have them brush their teeth and get ready for bed. Then, when they're done, turn off the bathroom light and turn on their bedroom light. Like magic, they'll head to their room and be ready for bed without any fuss. The key here is to let the light guide them through their bedtime routine. By using this simple trick, you can avoid the bedtime battles and make evenings a little more peaceful for everyone. So, next time you're gearing up for bedtime, give this trick a try. Who knows, it might just be the bedtime hack you've been searching for. Tip number four. All right, let's talk about sibling rivalry. It's like a never-ending battle, right? One minute they're best friends, and the next, they're at each other's throats. It can be exhausting trying to keep the peace between them. But what if I told you there's a simple trick that can turn that rivalry into teamwork? It's all about changing the way you frame things. Instead of setting them up to compete against each other, try setting them up to work together towards a common goal. goal! For example, instead of saying, let's see who can get ready for bed first, try saying, let's see if you can both get ready before I count to 30. In order to win, you both have to have your socks and shoes on and your teeth brushed. By framing it as a team effort, you're encouraging them to help each other rather than compete you against each jump, other. Yeah. It's a small change, but it can make a big difference in how they approach the task. Since we started using this trick, I've noticed a huge change in how my kids interact with each other. They're more willing to help each other out and less focused on beating each other. It's made our evenings much more peaceful, and I couldn't be happier. So, next time you find yourself in the middle of a sibling squabble, try reframing the situation as a team effort. You might just be surprised at how well it works. Tip number five. All right, here's a funny little story about how I got my daughter to stop saying a certain word. Hint. It starts with an F and rhymes with duck by introducing her to a new harmless word that she thought was a real swear word. So, my daughter, like most kids, loves to mimic what she hears. One day, she overheard someone say a not-so-kid-friendly word and of course, being the curious little sponge that she is, she wanted to say it too. Cue the parental panic. Instead of scolding her or ignoring it, I decided to distract her with a fake, bad word, curmudgeon. I told her that curmudgeon was a really, really bad word and that she should never, ever say it. Well, you can probably guess what happened next. She started saying, Mudgeon, all the time, thinking she was being rebellious and clever. But here's the best part, Mudgeon, is a totally harmless word, so I didn't have to worry about her using actual bad language. It was a win-win. The moral of the story, sometimes, a little creativity and humor can go a long way in parenting. Instead of getting upset or resorting to punishment, try finding a fun and harmless way to redirect your child's behavior. You might just stumble upon a solution that works like magic. So, there you have it. Five parenting tips that might just change the game for you. From cooling off those epic tantrums to outsmarting bedtime battles, these tricks are all about thinking outside the box and finding creative solutions to everyday parenting challenges. Parenting is tough, there's no doubt about it. But with a little patience, a dash of creativity, and a whole lot of love, you can navigate even the trickiest of situations. So, next time you find yourself faced with a parenting dilemma, don't be afraid to try something new. Who knows? you might just stumble upon a tip that works wonders for you and your little ones. Remember, you're doing an amazing job, 
even on the tough days. Keep up the great work, and don't forget to give yourself a pat on the back every now and then. You've got this. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel for more parenting tips and tricks. Have a great day.